Hi, my name is Theo Stewart Stand. I graduated from the School of Art in 1999. I'm partnering with a student named Chris Mignano. We're developing a project we call the Hydrant Fountain, which is a water bottle filling station which attaches to a fire hydrant. Because um, we all know that New York City has really great uh, water. And so to be able to tap that and to provide low cost uh, drinking water to um, people, tourists, um, people in the city who live there. It's a hot day. You can just go and uh, find find a, find a hydrant that's uh, tapped and basically um, fill up. So we were, uh, we were exploring a little bit the design behind having different heights. Here we have a much larger than typical fire hydrant. It's higher up. Normally they're about here. Um, and so we're exploring the possibilities of having the bubbler higher up uh, so that people don't have to bend as much and also the hand washing station higher up. Uh, also looking at the direction that the water flows into so that it bleeds into the street as opposed to coming into the sidewalk and where people need to stand in order to use it. And we just, uh, you know, considering the climate we're in, uh, reducing plastic is uh, something we, we all really need to do. You have hand washing, um, you have a water fountain, and also water bottle filling. So I'm gonna fill my water bottle. We've come up with a, a series of iterations. Some of the videos you see have a, a bubbler um, for water, water fountains um, and a spigot. Um, but we, for, for the various, you know, the climate that we're in with COVID and everything else, uh, you know, an outdoor water fountain didn't seem to be uh, the best uh, idea to launch this project. So uh, we just came up with a water bottle filling station, which has a metered faucet. And so you just push down the faucet and it slowly releases and fills up your bottle. So that is an off the shelf fixture, um, which uh, we, we've, uh, we've found. And uh, we have some other um, fixtures which attach to the hydrant. However, um, we need to machine um, components that attach to uh, the housing so that uh, the fire department can easily get it off but uh, it won't it won't uh, be vandalized uh, very easily and uh, the other thing we need to machine is the faucet uh, in interface with the uh, housing on the other side so it's shaped like an you know an s it's shaped like an s so that uh, it's not, you know, 13 or 14 inches off the ground. It's about 26 or 27. So you still have to um, bend over to to fill up your water bottle, but it's it's not it's not like it, you have to really get too far down to the ground to uh, fill up your bottle. We did a green funder campaign and uh, we raised like six thousand dollars. So thank you everybody that contributed. Chris did a great job and. Um, you can see the animation that we put together. Introducing Hydrant Fountain by Summit Incorporated. Hydrant Fountain creates a drinking water solution by accessing water from fire hydrants, as opposed to 742 million plastic water bottles. Think about it. There are over 100,000 fire hydrants that can provide clean drinking water. Is the water safe to drink? In New York City, hydrant water is the same as what you get from your home tap. How does it work? We are developing a dispensing solution which attaches to the hydrant and has a sensor or metering system. Allies for implementation, fire department, DEP, and the mayor's office. Mayor's Executive Order 54 eliminates single-use water bottle sales on New York City property. Why else is this good for the public? It is important to have clean water for hot days. It's important for people who don't want to buy plastic water bottles. It's also important that disadvantaged people have access to clean drinking water. Who will pay for it? By allocating a small budget for the disposal of plastic from municipalities, the fountains could be paid for. Did they get vandalized or stolen? No way. It will be built to withstand theft and abuse and secured by a safety tether. Help us reduce everyone's plastic footprint. Here's a big effort and we are you know, still you know, looking for people to partner with to help, help us uh, realize this uh, goal. Um, we think it's a good one to uh, reduce uh, plastic 
you know, plastic water bottles. Um, it just seems like a, you know, real, <laughs> real waste to, to bottle uh, water. I know we're all very concerned about, you know, cleanliness and, you know, san sanitariness and stuff, but um, if those hurdles can be overcome, I think this would be a really great uh, solution. What do you think? <laughs>